and welcome to my new trip report. It is Easter 2022 and I'm on family vacation. And as you might see on the boat, the name says everything about where we are going today. We are in Stavsnet outside of Stockholm and we are going to the island of Santam in the outer Stockholm archipelago. Because this is early in the year, we had to take a bus from Stockholm out to Stavsnets to take the ferry from here. In the summer month, you can take a boat directly from the center of Stockholm. You see a lot of people with luggage on this boat. A lot of people use these boats to get to their cabins out of the islands, especially on holidays. I've done this trip several times before and I like the island of Santam because it is quiet and not too crowded, especially early in the year. The trip from here takes about one hour and the boat has everything you might need from coffee to cakes to some sandwiches, um, but for an hour you don't really need it. And of course you want to sit on the upper deck with direct access to the outer deck where you can take a lot of nice pictures of the archipelago. In the summertime, especially when the weather is nice and on the weekends, this boat would be packed with people standing outside and taking pictures. Today, it's just a few people being here. And as I mentioned, we stop at many islands on the way to Santam and this is one of the stops where they will have their nice cabin. They are very nice indeed sometimes. Santam is located in the outer archipelago of Stockholm. It is situated in the Baltic Seas and is only accessible by boat. The island has a long history dating back to the 17th century when it was used as a stopover for boats traveling between Stockholm and the nearby islands. Santam has a small permanent population of around 200 people, but in the summertime this number is growing immensely when all the people go out there for sailing and holidays and the tourists, of course. The island is a summer and vacation destination, so the whole economy here is based on tourism. Santam is also a popular destination for sailors and it's home for one of the largest sailing clubs in Sweden. The island also hosts several sailing races throughout the year, including the Stockholm Archipelago race. We are now approaching the harbour of Santam and will take the day to explore the island. One thing you should keep track about when you visit the island in the winter time is when your boat goes back. There are not many boats and it might happen that you are stuck on the island for a night if you missed your boat.
Let me take you with me for a trip around the island. If you come here during the summer, there are several options for accommodation on Santam, including hotels, cottages and camping grounds, and maybe you find a nice bed and breakfast. On the left hand side, you see the only shop on the island, where you can get everything you need. Most of the restaurant, cafes and hotels are located close to the harbour. And there are some cute little houses on this island in the typical Swedish style. There are no cars on the islands, most people would walk, take a bicycle or maybe an ATV. I love all those cute little houses here. I will show you the route that we walked today. This gives you a nice oversight over the whole island. There's one main road on the island. It starts at the settlement and ends on the other side at the beaches. The trip takes about 26 minutes, it's about 1.9 kilometers.
Not much going on the tennis court at this time of the year. I made the wrong turn and ended up at the beach that I didn't want to go to, but it's one of three nice beaches here. Finally, I made it to the beach I wanted to go to. The best thing is, my whole family followed me in the wrong direction. Just imagine a nice summer weekend with sun and a picnic here. Perfect. Fortunately, we had to head back because you don't want to miss the last boat from the island. In this area you find the newer houses, not the old ones like in the main settlement. Tantam has been used as a location for several Swedish film and television productions, including the popular online drama series Valanda. The island's unique natural beauty and charming summer culture have made it a popular choice for filmmakers. Overall, Sandam is a unique and beautiful destination if you want to escape from the city's life and hustle. But now it is time to take the boat back to Stockholm. Thanks for joining me on my little trip today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, this would be a good time to do so. And you're welcome to leave a like and a comment. Thanks for watching, see you on my next trip report. Until then, remember to travel is to live. <laughs>